Hey guys, Phil Baumhart here, coming at you with another knife of the week. Today I got a nice little uh, small normal size knife, fixed blade hunting knife basically. Uh, this one was forged from a coil spring, just sort of felt like forging it, you know, felt like forging a knife, wanted to use the, the spring or something, didn't really have quite a firm idea of what I wanted to do and uh, ended up, come up coming up with this because I've always got... You know, nice little supply of antlers, you know, whenever I find a deal online or I'm in a pet store and I find a nice looking antler, I, I buy it, you know, because I can get my hands on it, see how it'll feel. Uh, this one has got a, to me anyways, real nice feel. You can see there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a curve to the handle, a little bit of a S shape of sorts. But uh, at least for me being right handed, um, it just, it just sort of locks into your hand and kind of fits into the contours of the palm real nice so uh you know let's see here so i can hold this like this real comfortably edges in line with my hand so for uh using this as a, a field dressing knife or whatnot i think this will work real good if uh you want to you know when you're splitting open um the skin and uh try not to cut the guts you know you have this hand here opening up the the hide um, or for getting into the innards in the belly uh, this guard here will kind of cup your your palm like that so you never risk going up on the blade and you still have control over it so nice little short blade like this is, is really what you want for uh, field dressing a white tail in my experience because uh, that is kind of the big game we have in Michigan is white tail deer but uh, I don't know I just thought this one had a real cool kind of aesthetic um, you know but has a very normal practical application so mild steel guard kind of tapered it down in the um in the spring fullering uh tool kind of forged this out so that's why it came out a little bit long is when you're forging it you know you, <laughs> you have kind of have so much material to, to hang on to and then when you start um you know actually forging it it really does kind of uh expand it's sort of hard hard for me to sometimes judge how much you need or not but you know, so it's a, it is a large guard, but I think it fits the knife. If this it fits the big uh, swoop of the handle, so it, it is a large handle. You got the burl sticking out there. You know, if you wanted to use this for some snap cuts or something like that, you could do that. You don't need to have a short handle. Uh, what I actually find sometimes in the woods is when it's nice when you just have a little knife like this. Um, is if I get caught up in some briars or thorns, or if I'm trying to like, you know, track deer or follow a trail. And, uh, you know, it goes through, goes through some real thick stuff. Clothes get snagged or whatnot. Uh, and instead of cutting up your hands, trying to fight with these thorns to break them off, I'll just take out, you know, my little belt knife, give it a snap cut, and I can, I can cut through those little, those little uh, you know, thinner twigs and branches fairly, fairly easy, sort of a uh, unsung use of these uh, smaller knives like this. But anyways, uh, this has actually got a real real nice balance of so the balance points right there. Uh, one of my very few uh, handle heavy uh, knives. So it, it, just, it just wants to kind of sit in your hand, which we're doing kind of delicate uh, cutting tasks. You know, when you can't see, you got your hands in the cavity of the, of the anvil or whatnot. Um, I, think that's, I think that's pretty cool. So uh, fairly lightweight knife, you know, it's a narrow tang. Weight of the knife is going to be 5.7 ounces with the sheath. It's 11 ounces. Overall length, 10 inches. Blades only four and three quarters. The width is a uh, one and a quarter inch. So again, this was forged from a coil spring. So I was trying to get, you know, kind of experimenting and just seeing how wide I could get that. So the spring is probably about a, you know, maybe an inch, maybe under an inch wide. And then you got a, a four inch uh, cutting edge. I took a little ball peen hammer and uh, kind of hammered out this little choil area so if you wanted to put a finger there it's actually got a little bit kind of a kind of a comfy spot to go but it is kind of close to the edge i put another little notch there but uh depending on what you're doing probably wouldn't do that but it's there but yeah just a fun little knife uh i dig it there's the sheath had a little bit of fun with that too did my you know stamping on there fully uh stamped out the uh the belt loop sheath and uh, when I was at Tandy Leather getting some leather, saw this uh, cool little deer concho, threw, it out, threw that on there, and uh, I think it's handsome, I think it fits. Did some wet molding 
uh, by the guard. That's why this kind of swooping cutout is there. Uh, cause I, I, I like it when you can see the wet, the wet mold, but it also sort of, uh, does it interfere with the molding and the bulge of the guard. If I put this here, it would be even wider. Uh, and I use a pretty heavy duty piece of leather for this, for this belt loop piece. So, uh, helps keep the knife a little bit trim, but again, just like with that Aquila minor buoy, that wet molding there on the guard like that locks this thing in. This is probably one of my most solid, uh, sheath fit up. Uh, and when it's on the belt, you know, you'll have the, the butt of the knife kind of sloping forward, having that burl, uh, stick it out. You can impress all your, uh, impress all your buddies at deer camp or whatnot. If you're, if you're wearing this cross drop, for some reason, that's just sort of how I envision this as cross draw, but, uh, you know, you can wear it on strong side or weak side. Don't matter to me. Another advantage of this longer handle, as you just saw, I can, I can get a full grip on the knife. So if you got, if you got gloves, you're trying to dig this out from underneath several layers of winter, winter clothing. So either grab hold of this, you have the, uh, the width of the burl there that will kind of catch your hand and it's real easy to pull out. Readjust it get to work so did uh, there's still some scratches from the 36 grip belt or something on there it doesn't look doesn't look great I'm not too happy with that I'm trying to get better at grinding guys I promise but uh, blade is blued it's got some of the uh, the roughness of the of the forge on there um, and I snuck my makers mark in there on the on the Ricasso see if we can catch that in the light yeah just want to show you this uh, cool little knife it is currently available on the Etsy web store. If it's not there, that means somebody bought it. If you want me to make you a custom hunting knife, uh, message me through Etsy or Instagram and I'd be happy to uh, talk to you and figure out uh, what you want me to make. That's all I got for you guys today. So I always appreciate the support. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, be more Viking.